Yeah, uh, welcome up my subscribers. I don't know why you guys subscribe with thumbs. And here, we're featuring Lord of the Fallen. So, previously on Bullshit TV, you've seen it where um, I asked whether this would be shit or not. So, yeah, Lord of the Fallen, I've played it a little bit. So, I find out it's Namco, Bandai, and I quite like those games like Asura, Wrath, and those kind of games, you know what I mean? I'm more into Mortal Kombat per se, but I grew up on Street Fighter playing them, kind of real, you know? All of that, Yonder, and all of the old stuff, Blanca, and all of that. But right now we're talking about uh, Lords of the Fallen, and basically you play like a few different roles. You could choose to be a few different things, but I choose to be pretty much who you see on the cover. And this guy have like a... Uh, heavy heavy attacks and uh, heavy armor and at first to begin with it seemed really sluggish and slow but eventually as you gain experience and you keep going keep playing um, it becomes um, the weapons just seem much more light and much more manageable and the combos um, seem a little bit cooler also you could change the button configurations on this because you use the triggers to use your axe and stuff like that and it's quite challenging it's for, for gamers who want a challenge a definite challenge so if you do not want a challenge leave it alone do not disturb it and this is a limited edition so it comes with like uh this thing this thing here and that is the soundtrack that comes with it so that comes inside the box with this and Let's give the box a little flip over. Flip it over, put it in the scene. So you got become Harkin Amon, tormented by a history of evil deeds that weigh heavily upon his conscience. His dark past holds the key to saving both himself and humanity with a fallen god. When, sorry, a fallen god unleashes his demonic army only Harkin can stand in his path. So, I I pretty much um, beat this big dude. Uh, he was quite strong. And it took me a little while. So, um, basically you can get to use um, um, a bit of magic. Or you could select to, uh, you know, be offensive or, or defensive type. But, I just kind of choose um, the pretty much typical thing to begin with and i'm playing three at the moment but it's quite good it's not bad at the moment i give it maybe six and a half to a seven you know at the moment because i've only I played through like a couple of levels but it takes so much time just to beat one um enemy um because you have some enemies that are quite weak and you have some that are much much stronger that could really ru ruin you with just a few hits so yeah, it's quite good and wherever you die in the game, like uh, it leaves like a little essence behind your experience and if you manage to not die and go back there, you can also, you can also find um, back your spirit and your experience and that's kind of cool. But yeah, it's a pretty much cool game to play and I think everyone should check it out. It's, it's quite cheap. Um, I bought this one for like under seven pounds i buy for like six pounds equivalent to like maybe 650 american maybe equivalent 850 australian uh, you know so so on and so forth but i bought it for that and i think it's quite good check it out yeah pretty much a good game to just play if you really really want a challenge it is challenging 